There are 143 million orphans in the world. That's nearly half of the U.S. population. And I am one of them. My mom abandoned me when I was two, and I don't even know who my dad is. I've been in and out of three foster homes since. What hope do I have? My heart is to reach out to disadvantaged youth, uh, to orphans, uh, to troubled teens, uh, to boys and girls that don't have parents. And I don't know of an active sports ministry today that that's their true focus in reaching those type of kids uh, through sports and professional athletes. When Mark and I committed to starting a ministry, one of the things that was huge on our hearts was not only seeing souls come to Christ, but seeing souls growing in Christ. Um, idol size actually what's awesome about them that they do have a kingdom mindset they truly understand that it is the blood of Jesus Christ is flowing through each and every one of us I believe that God placed people in the right places idol Society ministry is one of them and uh, I truly believe in my heart that uh, the call that you guys have is to reach out to those kids so I was in the uh, in corporate America for about eight years uh, last three years, I've really just felt God pulling upon my heart to go into ministry full time. Uh, and of course, I didn't want to listen. I was comfortable where I was at. And um, it, it, was, it was tough. It was a tough decision. But um, there was about two and a half years, struggled sleeping at night, uh, was having visions and dreams from the Lord, uh, giving me this calling and this vision to start this ministry. It was a relief to me when Mark finally committed to ministry. Um, I knew that God was doing a major work in his life. I sensed it for a long time. Uh, so of course I was praying for him and we were praying together about what in the world God had next for the right family. I was like, Lord, what do you want me to do? What do you want me to do? And, and he just told me simply, you know, take what I put before you, take, take your education, take what I've taught you in the corporate world, take your love for, love for me and uh, your love for sports and your relationship for sports and take all that and put it together uh, to, to build my kingdom. When Mark finally said, I feel strongly that God's calling me into ministry, and we started just starting to pray, okay, now what, God? What kind of ministry? Where, where do you want us? What do you have next for us? Becky and I came up with Idols of Side Ministries uh, two and a half years ago. We felt God was leading us into sports ministry full time, and uh, we were studying uh, the Ten Commandments. And as if you know, Exodus 23, Thou shalt have no other gods before me. And uh, we felt studying those scriptures, we felt uh, that that scripture uh, was our ministry. Sports uh, grabs people, grabs their attention. Uh, and it's an incredible avenue um, to share the gospel of Jesus Christ. Idols Aside Ministries exist to see the world come to know Jesus through the avenue of sports. Idols Aside's mission is threefold. Establish. Christian sports camps and retreats to bring you to Christ. Equip, that's to educate churches across the world to bring sports ministry events into the church and into the community. And encourage, coach and disciple professional athletes in their walk with Jesus Christ. We have also created and partnered with churches nationally to, uh, to get churches to go out into the local community and to reach people to Jesus Christ through sports. Uh, we want to help equip those churches. And we also want to encourage athletes to continue doing what we're doing, encourage athletes uh, to take their gift and to take their platform um, that God has given them uh, to go change children's lives. And we reach out to these kids, of course, through uh, sports camps and retreats. Well, we work with high-risk teens uh, that either broke the and burned the, the relationship with their parents and the bridges, um, have gotten in trouble with the um, drugs, alcohol, um, surface cutting their skin, running away, um, suicidal tendencies. Um, well, Idol Society is able to come to us and um, uh, tell us, listen, we're, we're throwing a big uh, camp event. Can you bring your girls? And we got professional wakeboarders. Um, and they get tutored by professionals. And uh, they'll have a concert with like Chris and Conrad and, and we're able to co go to the concert for free. You know, because Idols Aside is helping us just in that manner. They give, they constantly give, they constantly give.
our attitude is is to equip other people, whether it be professional athletes, whether it be churches, whether it be other established ministries, come alongside them and give them tools that they're not able to maybe concentrate on themselves. Some of these ministries that are doing an incredible work, but it's so frustrating to see finances and things like that, that restrict them from giving their kids follow-up and discipleship that they need. And so Mark and I like to come along give those people the tools, bring them to an event. And then we go alongside those ministries and say, now, what can we give you to help you follow up with these children? Uh, Iowa Beside is, is looking to help complement any ministry that's already in place. They're looking to uh, offer any ideas uh, that they can to help. They're not going to uh, do anything above or beyond what uh, pastors ask of them. But they're, they're very uh, conscientious of who they work with and, and you know, doing what's asked of them. And, uh, not offending anybody again. They're just simply uh, Idol Side is there to help build the kingdom of Christ. Our role in the life of the professional athlete is pretty simple, actually, and that is to disciple them, um, to come alongside them, and try to encourage them. It depends on where they are in their walk. You know, God has blessed and, and introduced introduced us to some athletes that are so far along in their spiritual walk that they are constantly challenging myself and Mark and some of these amazing wives and the support that they are to their husbands. We learn so much from some of them. And then some of them are very new Christians. And Mark, I love to see the relationship that he's building with these guys. And sometimes it's it's just praying with them before a game. Or some of them, if they're having a struggle in their life, they may just call him and need someone they know they can trust and they can talk to, and it goes no farther than that, but they know that if they share a need with Mark, it's gonna be prayed for. 90% of all homeless and runaway children are from fatherless homes. Uh, the Sons Without Fathers Hunting Retreat had a huge impact in my life. Uh, these boys that were there, some of them didn't have an earthly father. Uh, some of them didn't have a father that was, you know, that may be alive, but that's not active in their life. And it made a huge impact to me to see these kids uh, just craving uh, to have a godly example in their life, to have somebody to look up to, uh, just somebody to talk to. I mean, it was amazing. These kids that we sat in the deer stands with for three days, these kids were just, they just wanted to talk. They just wanted to talk about guy stuff. They wanted to talk about men's stuff. They wanted to talk about trees and, and animals and things they, had, they didn't have a clue about. And we took them away from um, the distractions, stories, the pain, um, just the stuff that they're dealing with, you know, every day in life, uh, where they came from, and just brought them out into an environment where they could just let go of all that stuff. So we talked about a lot of different things, and they came to us, six of these boys said, hey, how do we come to know this Jesus? How do we come to know that this man can be the Lord of my life? How do, how do we know that there's a God above that can be, that's our Father? But we are uh, actively uh, praying and pursuing uh, to have our own piece of property and facilities that we can uh, minister to kids through the outdoors and through sports, uh, along with the athletes that have partnered with us uh, to reach these kids and, and building the kingdom. Uh, that is our God dream. And what Idol Side does and, and can do and will do with a facility like that uh, would be able to have more camps and have more retreats and share the gospel even more and shape the way our young young athletes are, are growing up in this world and that's a, that's a big deal because they're the, the leaders of our kids. They're the ones that are going, that, that my, my three boys are going to look at one day and say, well, I want to I play like that or I want to be like him and, and we need godly examples out there and, and Idols of Sight can have such a, a, a tremendous effect just by being able to share the gospel through those camps and those, those different retreats and things like that, because we know the gospel changed lives. That's what I want people to know about Idols of Sight. You know, they care not only in the United States, but outside the United States. And the facility that they want to build here in the United States because God has put something in their heart that wash their own background. You know what I mean? So that's what I want people to to know and to help because this also needs uh, 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 funds, you know, to uh, to build these kind of facilities. So 
I ask and uh, I pray the good Lord and uh, bring people to, uh, to help the ministry because I, I truly believe on what Idol Society Ministry has been doing. When you know for a fact God has called you to do something and you obey and you listen and you're following that path that He has set before you, man, there's nothing greater than life. So, you know, filling that void or that hole in your heart, man, it's, if you know you're following Him, I mean, He'll show you and He'll keep putting things in front of you, opportunities and, and things and stories and just things in your life to say, son, this is what I've called you to do. Keep following, you're, you're obeying.